Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albinorano non-alcoholic review. We have a non-alcoholic beer behind me, made here in Quebec. Uh, it's Sober Carpenter Blonde. Uh, so the funny thing about the Sober Carpenter stuff is it's made in Quebec. I live in Nunavik, uh, in the Arctic. Nunavik being part of Quebec. It's Inuit territory within Quebec. Um, this was shipped from Oakville. So it's a brewery in Quebec that's shipping from a warehouse in Ontario. Mm. Uh, so I've had the IPA, which I hated. I've had the white, which I didn't mind. And tonight we're going to have the blonde. A little bit of haze, a little bit, not much. Uh, it looks hazier than it should be because of the hard water here in Nunavik. Bright white head, it's faded rather quickly. There is a snap, crack, pop scent. Okay, so, so it has the telltale non-alcoholic beer scent. There is non-alcoholic beers that don't have that scent. Uh, Caliper, um, Klostenhofer, uh, PC Red and Blonde Brew, uh, Partake Brewing stuff. This has that over, over sweetened, under attenuated malty note. Cheers, let's try it. It does look like a beer. Looks like a beer. Smells like a beer that you didn't put yeast in. Like you boiled it up, you just you made the wort and that was it. Let's try it. Okay, compared to the IPA, amazing. Compared to most other non-alcoholic beers, probably right where you'd expect it to be. However, this is a $76 two four. At $76 for a two four, this better be spectacular since it's non-alcoholic beer and I can buy a 24 pack of, of beer that will get me drunk for a lot cheaper than $76. Um, hell, in the Arctic, I can get a 24-pack of alcoholic beer for about 120 So yeah, I'm saving 50 going this way, but I mean, 50 extra dollars, I get the alcoholic version uh, in, in Nunavik. So I mean, It's earthy, it's bready, it's very bready, and it's sweet. And when I say bready, I mean it's like you took, you took, sorry, I'm listening to everybody out there arguing about popcorn. You took, um, you took some rye bread, you threw it in water and you let it soak for a couple days and then drank that. It's just very bready, very yeasty, very sweet. As a as a non-alcoholic beer, it's not the worst thing out there. The price is what would drive me away from it. What would I rate it out of 10? Probably a 5.5. There's nothing inherently wrong with it. Uh, there is stuff inherently wrong with it if you're thinking, does this taste like beer? But if you're thinking, how does this compare against other non-alcoholic beers? There's nothing inherently wrong with it. So, I mean, it's it, it it's there. It's the price that hurts. The price makes my butthole pucker. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Bye-bye.